Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi. Hope you all are doing well. So welcome to this course for SQL or Data, SQL for Data Science. Now today basically we'll be learning about the different SQL command types which we are having here, right? So SQL, the full form for this is basically the structured query language. So all of these things we had already seen in the previous video, even in a very detail, that what were the applications, what was the history for SQL, what is actually SQL, how we just use it, what is the role, advantages, disadvantages, all these things which we have already discussed, right? Now, from today, it's the turn for starting out the different SQL command types, okay? Today, I'll be telling you first of all that how many command types do we actually have here. And after that, we'll be seeing them in a little detail that what are the functions, what are the full form for all these commands and all those things, right? So, let's get started. So, I would start with SQL command type. So, basically, we have in total five different SQL command types. The very first one is the DDL. Second, we have here DQL. Third, we have DML, DCL, and then TCL. Yeah, actually, all of these seems like a little bit of like similar to each other, right? Like DDL, DQL, DML, DCL, and TCL. It's a little bit... Uh, difficult to remember that what function actually what does but when we just learn about the definition for all of these things then it's not that much difficult to learn that what are these command doing and what are the commands which come under this particular type right so let's let's take a quick summary that what we are going to discuss so ddl are the commands which come under ddl are create drop alter truncate comment and rename these are the six commands which come under the under the ddl what about the dql so dql we are having select only one command we are having under under dql that is basically the select command after that we are having actually dml so in dml either we are having five commands which is insert update delete lock and merge dcl we are having grant and revoke and tcl we are having commit rollback save point and then we are having set transaction right so these are some commands some common commands which are into these different different types Right now, I would just not waste too much of time here. Let's quickly move on and jump on to the first command, which is actually DDL. Let's see that what actually DDL means. Right, so the full form for DDL is actually data definition language, which is written here. Data definition language, the full form for DDL. Never forget these things because these are the full forms only, which will lead to you and let you know that, okay, what are these particular things used for, okay? So here we have data definition language. Now, what is it actually used for? So it is actually used to define out the database structure or the schema. DDL is also used to specify additional properties of the data. Now, wherever we just want to specify some additional properties to our data, right? So in that case, we always use out this DDL. DDL means data definition. Now, data definition means defin defining the data means to specify and to add some particular properties onto our data, right? Data definition is that particular thing. So remember from here that DDL, the full form is data definition language and what it does, it is basically used to specify out some additional properties of the data, right? Now, in the previous chart, we had seen about some uh, some commands which we were having in the DDL. So these were the commands, right? Create, drop, alter, truncate, comment, and rename. So from all of these commands, we are having four commands which is which are actually mostly used out. So the commands which are actually used out, okay, just one second right here. Just let me take out a color so that I could just let you know more completely. So we have here create. Right, so what is this create actually used for? So this create is actually used for creating out the object in data, data frame, database actually. From its name only, we will be able to understand create means to, to create something, right? To make out something. So in that case, it is used to make out some objects in the database. After that, alter. Alter means to uh, like to change something, something like that, right? So alt, or like basically alter alters the structure of a database. Right, it basically structures alter the structure of a database which you're having. What about drop? Drop is also used for deleting out some objects from a database. That is also we can say from the name as well that it is used for deleting out some objects from a database. And after that, we are having here rename. So rename is basically used for renaming some object, renaming an object, right? So basically, here there are total these four commands, create, alter, drop, and name in the, in rename that are basically used and most frequently used actually, what I could say, right? Uh, we are having two as well, two more, but we will not be discussing them right here. We will be discussing them within the particular whenever we just uh, figure out some questions for that, okay? Right here. 
So data definition language it is used to define the database structure or schema and detail also used to specify some additional properties of the data. Hope you just got this particular thing. Next we are having here as DQL. Okay now DQL the full form for this DQL is basically data query language. See this Q is basically query. Hold on. Uh, listen to me very carefully wherever you find dda dql and dml so the between the between characters which you are having d q and m these are only changing d and l actually remains the same d d is for data and l is for the language this q stands here for query fine okay now let's see that what it actually does so it is used for performing the queries on the data that is absolutely simple right so as it is a uh, like full form for this is uh, like data query language so it is basically used for performing out the queries on the data within the schema objects. That is okay. The purpose for the DQL commands is to get some schema released, relation based uh, on the query passed through it. Okay. Fine. So basically they are, these are used for performing the queries on to the data. This is a very main task which is actually performed by the DQL statement. DQL means the data, data query language statements. Example I had already told you that was one only which was select here. Right, and what was it used for? It was used to retrieve the data from the database. Now, let's say you want some uh, you want some particular rows from the data. So you can just simply use out the select function, and you can just put out your condition whatever you are having. So it will display you that much number of rows, so that much number of columns which you have listed out as a as a condition. Right, so it is basically used to retrieve out the data from a database according to your condition which you are actually giving out. Right, hope it has got the idea that what is this DQL used for? It is for used for performing the queries onto the data. And the example for the DQL is basically the select. Right here. Fine, now let's move toward the third one that we, we are having DML. Now DML is basically a data manipulation language. M is basically for the manipulation, right? Now what are these used for? These are, as, as the manipulation words only suggest that manipulation means to manipulate something, to manage something, right? So these are statements are actually used for managing out the data, right? These are statements are used for, I would just write here, managing data, right? Now, here comes a little bit uh, thing to understand that there are two types of uh, DMS actually. First one is a procedural and second one is a declarative. Now, let's see that what are these procedural and declarative. Okay, so procedural DMS require a user to specify what data are needed and how to get those data. Okay. Procedure means that whenever you are just applying out this procedural DMLS, in that case, you need to specify out that, okay, uh, what data are you are needed and how to get out those data, right? So I would just write a require a user to specify. Here, we just need out a user to specify that what data are needed and how to get those data. Okay, now what about the declarative ML, DMLs? These are as well called as non-procedural DMLs. So these require a user to specify what data are needed without specifying to get those data. Right now, hold on, listen to me very much carefully here. Procedural is basically require a user to specify what data are needed and how to get, uh, like how to get those data. Right. In declarative, it is required the user to specify what data is needed. That is okay. But you do not need to specify that from where to get those data. That from how that how to get those data. This is not needed in the declarative DMLs. In the procedural, it is required that you need to specify, a user need to specify what data are needed and how to get those data. But in declarative, it is not at all needed that it is basically not needed that what data uh, like uh, it is required that a user need to specify what data is needed but you do not need to specify that how to get those data now it hope you are just listening to me very much carefully so that you are actually able to listen out what i am just trying to tell you here from these definitions okay i'm even highlighting the important part of this definition which is written out here fine so these are basically easier to learn and all those things are actually the thing which you can just read out on your own. But yeah, this was a very important thing which I have told you. Right. Now these are the commands which we have in the in the basically DML. Right. First one is a select. 
select insert update and then delete so yeah that's again from the name only we can just see out that what are these commands used for so select is basically useful for retrieving out the data from the database insert is for inserting data into a table update is basically existing data within a table it is basically used to update out a data which are which is basically already into your table great and delete it is basically used to delete the records from a table space for the records or basically whatever you just want want it is basically used to delete out that particular thing from that table right so these are the four commands which come under the dml fine now let's move towards the dcl that what dcl is so here we go that dcl stands for data control language okay it is a syntax similar to the computer programming language used to control access to data stored in the database so basically data control language it is from the again from the name only we can say that what is it actually used for it is used to control access to the data which is stored in a database control means so here data control language is used to control the access to data stored in a database right conditions two are we are having grant and revoke so it grant basically allows a specified user to perform some specified task and revoke basically cancel the previously granted permission right so grant is used for uh, it basically allows a specified user to perform some specified task and revoke basically cancels the previously granted or the denied permissions right this is about the dcl and at last we are having here which is tcl dcl basically stands from the transaction control language so basically here what are the commands used for so the commands which are used here they are used to manage out the transactions in the database okay it is basically used to manage the changes which are made by the data manipulation statement data manipulation statements we had already seen which was select insert delete and update right we had right now seen all of these three or oh, sorry all of these four so whatever the changes you are you had made by the dml statements it is used to manage all those changes okay so i would just highlight this part as well manage the changes made by the dml statements fine and yeah that is okay and what about the commands which we are having commands we are having which are three let me just take out a different color here so yeah so the three commands are commit roll back and the save point so commit basically is used permanently to save any transaction into the database okay roll back this basically we store the database to the last committed state and save point save point command is basically used to temporarily save a transaction so that you can roll back to point whenever necessary right these are the three tcl commands which we are having here now understand it in an hour uh, one more way that commit is used to permanently save any transaction into a database right roll back this command what does it actually do it restores the database to last committed state whatever is the last committed state it restores the database okay this command roll back and save point temporarily save the transaction okay now let me just uh, let me just write out something here so that you are even able to classify all of these five in a very easier way um fine i would just take here d d l so here the this d and this d the first and the last character remain same for all the fours which we are having d d l d q l we are having d m l and then we are having d c l all the four remains uh, all the first and the last characters remain same for all these four d is for the data and l is for the language now between the between uh, alphabets in all of the four which we are having these actually change so here this d the between d which we are having that is used for the definition right so its full form is definition the q which we are having this is actually the query right the m which we are having is basically the manipulation so i would just write that manipulation here and the c which we are having here so the c is basically the control so the c is basically the control now from the name only they are telling that what they actually do let me just tell you that thing as well here only fine definition means to define out the data right so define out the data this definition is actually used uh, so data definition is data definition language is basically used to describe your data what about the dql so that full form is data query language so query means to query out the things to manipulate and to apply out the things on to with the help of the queries 
right so query we are having only one function which was select so select is one of the functions which is allowed to make the queries means allowed to give out the conditions right dml was for the data manipulation language manipulation language means to manage something manage means that you can just update or do some changes into your data like to basically insert something to delete something all these things can be applied in the manipulation and what about the dcl dcl was for the control one so here we were having that you can just uh, allow some uh, like allow some specified user to perform some specific task that was from the grant and basically revoke was to cancel the previously granted and what about the ddl so ddl was basically used for defining the database as i told you so uh, basically here we were having create alter drop and rename these four commands we were having in the ddl in the dql we were having the select dml for select insert update and delete dcl for grant and revoke and at last we were having tcl so tcl was basically it is used to manage all the transaction in the database and these are as well used to manage the changes made by the dml statements right what are the commands which we are having which is commit rollback save point these were the three commands right so hope you had got a very clear and a very fair idea that what are these commands what are the definitions how are these commands used how we can use out this command and which command to use for doing what right so all of these commands only if you just remember out the full form for these commands then they only let you know that what is it actually used for and where to use out these particular all the five of the commands right hope it has got this thing in the next video we'll be trying to implement these things right so this is all for this video till then thank you and take care